Hi, I'm Dustin Palmer, a motorcycle service manager. For the next few minutes, we're going to review how to adjust your suspension. Adjusting your suspension can give you more control, comfort, and safety, especially if hauling weight. Before you get started, watch our Suspension 101 video for the basics on how suspension works. Then, read your owner's manual and familiarize yourself with the type of suspension you have. When you're ready to adjust, the basic path is to set up the spring rates, sag, preloads, then damping. First, the spring rate. This is the amount the spring will compress under load. Usually, bikes from the factory will have a rate that works for their intended purpose. But if your bike bottoms out under normal use, you might need to replace them. Next, sag. The amount of sag in the front and rear suspension controls the ride height and steering. To adjust, measure the height of one end of the bike with the suspension fully extended. To do this, raise the end of the bike until the tire is off the ground. Then, while extended, measure the height from the top of the bike. Load the bike with all the weight it will carry. Add everything, yourself, bags, and passenger. Then, have someone measure the height of the bike from the same point used before. The difference between the measurements is loaded sag. Less sag means a stiffer ride. More means a softer one. Front sag on most bikes should be 20 to 30 millimeters. Rear sag should be five to 10. You can adjust sag by the spring preload. Most bike springs can be compressed with a special tool. The spring is usually adjustable for a preload setting by a stepped collar around the top or bottom of the unit. Be careful adjusting the preload settings. It affects the handling and geometry of the bike. When you put pressure on the spring by compressing it, the seat of the bike will raise, decreasing stability and suspension travel. Meanwhile, the front of the bike will turn quicker and easier, compromising stability for handling. Always read your manual and take measurements before adjusting. Finally, damping. Damping reduces the quickness of the springs so it doesn't feel like you're riding on a pogo stick. Compression damping controls how fast the suspension moves down and rebound damping controls how fast it moves up. Use as little compression or rebound damping as possible and only if necessary. Always read your manual, take measurements and test ride after adjusting. Write down your adjustments so you can remember them for future rides. Thanks, and I'll see you down the road.